Well, an exciting finish like that would be an outstanding time to think about in about an hour. Stopping by the merchandise tent and picking up a souvenir DVD. I think you're seeing the outstanding production quality that has been put together here at the San Diego Crew Classic with outstanding camera coverages and expert analysis as we move down the course. If you'd like to have a souvenir DVD, uh, stop by the souvenir check at the merchandise tent. They're only 15 bucks, and they're available about an hour after every finish as long as the supply lasts. Men's okay, event 59, Men's Collegiate Novice Petty Final, oh. University of California, Santa Barbara, Lane 1, Lane 2, Orange Coast College from Costa Mesa, Lane 3, Stanford University, Lane 4, San Diego State University, Lane 5, Santa Clara University, Santa Clara, California, and Lane 6, University of Notre Dame. The boats are through the breakdown zone. We have a clean start. Lanes one and two are battling it out for first place right now. That's University of California, Santa Barbara, and Orange Coast College. Lane six, Notre Dame and I'm sorry, lanes two and three are battling for first, Stanford and Orange Coast. Lane one is Santa Barbara and it's battling for third with Notre Dame. San Diego State is next and then Santa Clara University. This race is the Men's Collegiate Novice Petite Final. That's for uh, positions 7 through 12 in the One. Novice Race. Coming up on 500 meters, we have Stanford University, Orange Coast College, Notre Dame, University of California at Santa Barbara, San Diego State, and Santa Clara University. Going with the Novice Petite Final here, event number 59. And we have on the lead Stanford being shadowed by Orange Coast College. Notre Dame is on the far outside. We've seen a couple of times today where outside crews in the outside lanes, five, six, and seven, have snuck up on the leaders. So we'll keep an eye on Notre Dame on the far outside. San Diego State University also in this thing. And uh, Santa Clara a participant, but Stanford currently on the lead. Uh, it was significant that right off to start in this race, there was a pretty significant separation of the crews, even in the first couple of hundred meters. And uh, we're seeing that reflected in the relative positions of the crews at the moment. It seems as though it's UC Santa Barbara and Orange Coast and Stanford in lanes one, two, and three that have kept most in touch with each other. And it's certainly the Stanford crew and the Orange Coast crew at this point who are, have overlapped with each other with the advantage going to Stanford as we see it at the moment. Pulling through a thousand meters, it is Stanford on the lead. Orange Coast College shadowing them all the way. And Charles, if you would, kind of interesting that Orange Coast College is a community college and yet they hang in there with the big boys. They do. Four year institutions. And there's a reason for that. Um, Orange Coast over the years, over the decades even, has been a a way for good junior rowers to get the grades they need to go to a four-year school uh, which they don't have necessarily at the end of high school and the Orange, the Orange Coast programs which, are pro which is a two-year program 
is a, a, a good stepping stone for, for junior rowers who need to do a bit of work on their academic resume to uh, bring their grades up, get, the, get their associate's degree and keep competing at a very high level and make the transition through to four-year college programs. That's an outstanding concept and another one of the outstanding concepts in the educational system of California is the fact of the very strong community college systems that do rescue students who didn't quite have it together earlier, not only athletically but academically, and help them to move on. Stanford continues to be on the lead and they have opened up some water distance between themselves and Orange Coast College sneaking along on the outside and it's been very interesting especially this year we've seen this happen more frequently than in years past Notre Dame is uh, kind of moving along that outside lane very quietly and uh, it'll be seen whether Stanford keeps an eye on them if anything happens out there but it has been very interesting this year in particular how many times we've seen an outside lane sneak up on the situation and here we have Stanford and Orange Coast going at it hard. Uh, I think Stanford still have a lead, but uh, it's not a lead that's being given to them by Orange Coast. Orange Coast are fighting for everything. Both of these crews probably mostly freshmen uh, out on the far side, Notre Dame, uh, not conceding anything. They're really going for it as well in the, in the wide outside lane. And they're the only real challenger to the Stanford and Orange Coast crews. Orange Coast, I think, have uh, put in a big move here. They look like they've ratcheted up their stroke count and trying to close that ground or water, so to speak, with Stanford. The Stanford on the lead, Orange Coast College, both of them in bright yellow crews and shells, rather. It is Orange Coast College closest to the shoreline, and they are putting on a move. This is Stanford in the middle. They continue to lead, but here comes Orange Coast College. And don't forget Notre Dame. They're out on the far outside there. Uh, they may have started a little bit too late to get into this thing, but Orange Coast College is certainly challenging. It is Stanford on the lead with Orange Coast College coming hard. It is Stanford hitting the finish line and officially looks like they held off Orange Coast College with a furious charge at the end. Then Notre Dame on the far outside. Santa Clara apparently will pick up that fourth position with San Diego State fifth and Santa Barbara coming in in that sixth position. An impressive final row by Orange Coast College. Did not quite have enough, ran out of race course and had to surrender that first place spot to Stanford. Interestingly, Alan, uh, Notre Dame out in lane uh, six, finished in lane five. Santa Clara in lane five, finished in lane four, as did San Diego State, who were actually supposed to be in that lane. As long as there wasn't any impediment, that's okay. You don't have to stick to your lane. But uh, interesting steering going on there. Looking at the Orange Coast College crew, it looks like they left everything out there because as many of these crew members, when they get through the race, they kind of fall back and uh, try to take their catch their breath. But interestingly enough, uh, almost all of the crew members in the Orange Coast College crew uh, practically fell out of their seats there in exhaustion because they left it all out on the race course. A very impressive challenge, but Stanford did withstand the challenge and they pick up the victory. And seventh place in that event.